not really big so that's what we're going to do we're gonna walk it's like um, one hour walk uh, till the center of the island where we're gonna see some really old temples afterwards we're gonna visit the biggest city uh, Gozo which is in Victoria and that's the name of the city and then we're gonna maybe have uh, lunch someplace around and then in the afternoon we're going to take the ferry back to Malta although there are buses on this island as well the next bus that we should be taking is in like one hour so instead of waiting for the bus one hour we just decided to walk it's the same thing and uh, so far, so good. I'm impressed by the infrastructure of this country. And I'm also very much confused by the fact that they uh, drive on the wrong side. The British are to blame for it. Uh, other than that, it's wonderful. They have beautiful churches everywhere. And we are not the only ones walking so that's a good sign also there is there are not like a lot of tourists I mean there are some people and there are foreigners we uh, casually encountered a lot of uh, Romanians on the ferry and everything is all the streets are uphill steep <sighs> Our trip through the countryside of Malta goes over exactly
so we finally reached the so the temple the most uh, important temple in Malta is actually called Gigantia and the place uh, name comes from the legend that the, the temples and the stones were so big to be carried by normal people that they were actually built by giants hence the name Gigantia dating back from the Bronze Age like 3000 years before Christ something like that and it's one of the most important archaeological sites in Malta and it's a part of the world heritage you know, he could have been a giant in those days because apparently people were about one meter and fifty in height. So you would have been like a total giantess. You. I would have been like after scale. <laughs> after they scale. wouldn't have been. Awesome. I would have been King Gonzo. And I would have renamed it Gonzo too. so big that uh, nobody can explain how they carry the stones, they, they build the walls, so on and then uh, the legend has it that there were giants, hence the name Gigantia, okay, that's what I get. The place is the oldest uh, standing structure in the world at the moment, it uh, dates back from 3600 3, before Christ BC and uh, the archaeologists are making huge efforts to keep it standing yeah to keep it this way so that's why you can see the scaffolding and they're currently uh, measuring the weather conditions and everything and trying to find a solution to keep the stones from de uh, degrading, degrading. Um, which is basically um, hard and impossible because that's how uh, nature works you know stones are formed and then they turn into smaller stones and then uh, essentially they turn into dust at some point but th there are huge efforts uh, made to preserve this um, unique place or really old place which uh, got me thinking um, why are more people more interested in uh, keeping our planet um, healthy and uh, able to support life because our planet is way older than this temple which is like one of the oldest temples on the planet and um, why uh, nobody wants to you know make sure that our grandchildren will have um, the same luxurious life we had um, I don't know why aren't we willing to change the way we live for a better future but we are definitely willing to preserve <laughs> sites like this one I mean what's the difference isn't it more important to have a planet to live on than to have um, just some stones which are not gonna survive if the planet doesn't survive you get it I don't get it Um, charging with uh, the energy of the spot because you know special places like this one have special energies and he likes to 
take in all the energy that he can. Yes, yes, he wants to be. I can assume all sorts of special energies. Special energy. I wonder what the people around here consumed for special energy when they got here to the temple. Barks. Tree bark. Chew on a bit of bark. away from the Gigantia temples and it's also included in the ticket so why not stop by it's windy here I suppose that's why they uh, build the mill here because it's windy right yeah Stating the obvious once more.
the church of uh, Victoria, the main city of uh, Gozo and um, not uh, long after we entered two lovely uh, ladies approached us and asked us where are we from if we are practicing our religion and what religion is that and if we are living together and if we are married and apparently we are losing a lot of uh, God. Losing a lot of God's grace. <laughs> Graces. Because Without we are not practicing married. practicing the sacrament of Yes. Oh, the right. But still, they were very nice ladies, friendly. And I was wondering why are people waiting in the church? Because there were like a few people. It was not full. Cool. And then the, the, the service started. <laughs> so the mass is happening right now. But it's in the local language, not in English. So. Unfortunately, uh, you cannot see it from here because it's under renovation, the front of the church, but it's really nice. Let's find some uh, thing to eat and uh, let's go back to Malta, the main island, which is also called Malta, because we are already in Malta. so much especially Eddie that he literally dragged me out of bed for a, <laughs> a short night stroll before going to sleep and uh, yes it's quite lovely you cannot see it because it's really dark but it's really nice this area it's not really Valletta it's a bit outside Valletta because we're not staying in the city, we're staying a bit outside 
but it's super nice and quiet and peaceful.